Sandy Chalmers, 1940-2015. to It's with the deepest sadness that I report the death of my dear friend Sandy Chalmers, who passed away last week. Along with our mutual friend Liz, the three of us had enjoyed such a fun lunch the previous day, full of gossip and giggles. I was devastated to learn that Sandy suffered a massive stroke the next day, and I'm distraught to realise I will never again have the pleasure of her sparkling company. Sandy died aged 74 and had spent much of her career working for the BBC. She had such a great sense of fun and a beaming smile which she combined with her diplomatic and sympathetic manner. It was BBC Radio Manchester that gave Sandy the niche in which she excelled, talking with callers on live phone-ins and sharing their concerns and aspirations. At the same time in our careers, I was honing my own broadcasting skills on BBC Radio Bristol, long before the birth of the Green Goddess. Sandy was a natural on radio. She had a flair for radio broadcasting and moved effortlessly from the microphone into management, notably as editor of BBC Woman's Hour during its heyday in the 1980s. Some years later, Sandy became head of press and publicity for the BBC. Sandy was a generous spirit, always concerned for the welfare of the less fortunate, so after her highly successful BBC career, it was a natural transition when she became Director of Communications for Help the Aged. It was in her role with the charity, of which I am an ambassador, that I worked voluntarily with her and got to know her well. Sandy was always so full of fun and soon became a close friend and confidant of mine. She was the warmest, wittiest and wisest woman I've ever had the privilege of knowing. Sandy was devoted to her family and she'll be greatly missed by her older sister, the broadcaster Judith Chalmers, and by her son Richard, her daughter Becky, and her five grandchildren, Emma, Freya, Kate, Daniel and Ollie, all of whom adored her. Rest in peace, Sandy. We're all going to miss you so much. Thank you. 